Hey guys, what's going on? So I'm going to do a rather rare type of video for me, which is a, a simple tutorial video. I just got asked a question from a friend who was asking, how do you set a stop loss um, for bullseye trades? So bullseye trades is this idea that you get one option pick a week. Um, and basically, uh, Jeff sets a stop loss. So here's some of the recent trades. I'll leave a link in the description uh, below so you can go and check out some of these trades. They usually come in this format though, and this is the question I'm having, if I can find the actual thing right here. And so the question is, um, the fact that Jeff gives a options price as the buy, so I'm just using this one randomly as an example. So in this example he's saying, buy the call near 520 and stop out if the underlying stock closes below 237. And so some people that can't watch it all day want to set option orders to sell uh, if this closes beneath here. And so the big question I'm getting at the moment, I've had it from a few people, is how do you take the options price and set an order so that if you're not at your computer, that if this does get down below 237, it automatically sets it. And for some of you guys probably know how to do this, it's pretty easy on some brokerages. There's lots of different ways of doing it. The, the way I'm going to show just now is, is probably, it's maybe, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. So all you need to know is basically a couple of simple things. And so let's talk about those uh, right now. So uh, let's look on a PowerPoint here, got this going. So what you need to do basically, and this only really holds true if you assume it's, it's a very rough calculation and it assumes that nothing changes um, between setting the order and the, uh, the time that you the, the stock reaches the order. Uh, because if some major volatility changes like we saw today happens, this, won't, this analysis or this technique won't really be of any help. Um, it'll change dramatically. So it's not completely passive. You can't just set this and then like never look at it again. You want to keep an eye on things, you know, check and make sure that the stop is still in the right place roughly um, or close to where you want to stop out. So the only thing you need to know um, is the delta of the option, right? So the delta, if you're not sure, is the rate of change with the options price compared to the underlying stock. So in this example, I'm going to use delta of 0.5. So if you don't know this, it basically means that for every $1 the stock price changes, the option that has the delta of 0.5 will change by half of that, right? So if the stock goes down $1, um, the, the option will go down $1 if it's a call option, right? Pretty simple, right? So not $1, 50 cents. So half of that, right? So I'm using, using this to make it easy because um, 0.5 delta is usually what you see when you're close to the money um, on the, the options chain here. So on Thinkorswim, it will be different on all different platforms. I've plotted delta in this column here. So I found an option, call option right here, which has a delta of 0.48. See right here, it's kind of hard to see sometimes on these screens. So I'm just going to call that 0.5. So that means that this call option will go down uh, 50 cents if the stock price drops $1. So if we look at the stock, it's cat in this case. We can say cat is currently at 244.5. Let's just draw in here. So 244.5. And so at 244.5 on cat, the options price is, let's just look at the, the ask. So three, 395, right? So let's write that down. So in this example, the call price on cat is equal to 395, 3.95. And the stock price is, let's have a look, the stock price is currently 244.5. So let's go here. This is not, not complicated, I just want to make it really clear. So the call price is 395, the stock price is 244.5. So imagine you want to stop out, the bullseye trade stop is at uh, two, so let's say the stop for the stock is, according to Jeff, he says if it goes to 243.5, uh, so that's minus $1, right, from where it's at, so minus $1. And because that option has a delta of 0.5, that means that the options price will be uh, 0.5 less, right? So when the stock reaches 243.5, this means that the option, the call option that we're talking about up here will be 395 
3.95 minus 0.5, which equals 3.45. Make sense? And so if you know your, your stock stop price and you know the delta of your option, and it doesn't have to be 0.5, I'm just using 0.5 as an example here, you can see on your options chain you might be looking at something out here, which means the delta might be lower at 0.3 or 0.29. And so basically that's all you have to do. So you now know, given the stock price and the delta, that this would be the options price that you'd want to set for the stock price on the stock of 243.5. So the option would be you'd set your, your stop loss order to close out at 345. And hopefully it wouldn't drop from 395 down to that. Uh, but if it did, you would stop out of that. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is, um, and you definitely want to keep an eye on this, because like I said, if things change, like the Greeks can change. <laughs> um, and so you have to make sure that you're kind of keeping an eye on that and that you're, you know, you're not going to stop out at much lower or whatever. So it's kind of like a cheaty way to do it. That's one way of doing it. The other way is you can actually go on here and when you place the stop order, it will just put it in. And so you can literally just manually shift it to roughly the stock price by cancelling the order and resubmitting it until it's at where you, where you want it to be. And on Thinkorswim, it'll actually show up the orders in here. On other brokerages, I don't know how they work it, but you can do it like that way as well. So you can do the combination of things. If anybody else has other ways of doing this that are better than this, let me know because I think it's very helpful for... Um, for everybody to know this kind of stuff. So that's what I do with bullseye trades. Um, when I'm looking to be away from a computer, I'll put in a, a stop based on the delta of the option and the underlying price. And so hopefully that answers some of your questions and I'll talk to you guys soon.